Yolan True and welcome to another exciting day in our galaxy. And today it's refinery time again, but a very important one. It's the territory refinery. And uh, we need to talk about this, especially now with the territory season pass running. And we are quite fast approaching the next season already. So the territory refinery plays a very important role. You find it when you look at the top left of your screen, there are ships, offices, command, factions, items and refinery. And if you click refinery and then look at the list, the third on the list is territory and click there. If you're wondering why I'm explaining all those small parts, I know that I have a lot of uh, people watching that just started playing the game and that's why I do these step-by-step -step introductions so people will find what they need to find. In the territory refinery, we have the grade one isogen, grade two isogen, grade three isogen, and then progenitor emitters, diodes, cores, and reactors. And in the end, iso resin. We start with the isogen because um, there it starts to be a little bit more complicated. There is grade one isogen, there's grade two isogen, and there's grade three isogen. You have to mi uh, mine that in territory in some cases, but also outside of territory. I did a video on, on isogen uh, mining already, but still want to show you. Um, there are some places like here in um, rogue space where you can mine once a uh, grade one isogen and next to the territories around here that's the systems uh, Vemi, Maza and Closi where you can mine one a uh, grade one isogen as well I always want to say one star we all because we always say it like that in, in uh, my team but if you want to have grade two or grade three isogen then you need a territory and you see oh there's some defense going on at the moment while i'm filming but uh, dom is fine i'm quite sure about that so i have a nice uh, look at our territory because there we have um, grade one grade two and grade three just in one corner and there you you can mine grade two and grade three isogen if your alliance has a territory where you can get that. If you don't, you probably have to do some OPC hunting in uh, other people's territories. Um, happens to us from time to time, but um, I am usually fast enough so it doesn't happen because uh, I'm OPC at the moment, but um, I will recall the ship very soon, so um, usually it doesn't hit me. Not anymore because my ships have quite a big cargo, but um, and protected cargo. OPC, by the way, means overprotected cargo. And uh, on all the servers I've been playing so far, and also on my current server, we have a rule that miners can only be attacked legally, so to speak, um, without being a violation of the rules of engagement, if they are over the protected cargo. And only then you can steal stuff. Only if they are over the protected cargo. That's why protected cargo is called protected cargo. And so if you don't have a territory, that's your only chance to get two and uh, three star isogen. But let's go back to the refinery because there's one thing more that has to do with territory. We go to the grade one isogen first. You need raw isogen, raw grade one isogen to refine here, and you get refined isogen and iso emulsion. The refined isogen is not for you, it's for your alliance, because the alliance needs it to pay for takeovers and for services in the zones, in the one star zones. And the iso emulsion is for you, because you need it for um, territory research and you can pay with it in the territory store. So we do one quick excursion here. First, if you click on the yellow um, exclamation mark on the 
the bottom left of your screen. A oh, quatsch. No. Oh, that's where my German came through. Uh, no, when you click on alliance below the yellow exclamation mark, that's uh, where I wanted to go. There you find two things. First of all, there's something that says territory. And there I have an overview of the zones we have. And there are so-called boosts you can get. And to get one of those, you have to pay for it with the refined isogen. And for example, now to pay for the Armada Combat Enhancer, to activate it, I have to pay 975k. And um, the same with the Gas Mining Enhancer and so on. But also for something I'm going to talk about later, that's the improved isogen refinery. But we get to that point later. But for this, and also then for the for the grade two here, you have to pay with grade two um, refined isogen and so on. That's what you need this refined isogen for so your alliance can pay. And with the emulsion, for example, you go to the territory store and here, for example, I needed to buy Black Fleet Memorials. This is only there because it's activated in our territory. Otherwise, it wouldn't be here, but it is. And here I need the ISO emulsion to pay for it. That's what I get in the refinery. And there's one more thing where I only quickly go to, and we do this via my station. On the bottom right, you see the exterior of your station. And then click your station. Up there is the R&D department. And there is on the bottom the research button. And if we click that, we see all the researches. And there is a territory research. And if we click that, you can see that you need ISO emulsion for the research. But that was just a quick look there. What you need this re refinery for in the first place. I do separate videos on, on those different stages or did them already. So that's why I'm not going there into detail at the moment because we want to talk about the refinery. And as I said, in the first one, you get grade one refined isogen and iso emulsion. In the, when you go to the two star or grade two isogen, you get refined isogen, progenitor alloy, and ISO emulsion. The progenitor alloy is needed to get progenitor components in this refinery. We get there in a second. And with a grade three or three star, you also get refined three star isogen, progenitor alloy, and ISO emulsion as well. And you, in any case, saw that I have three buttons on the bottom. So I can open two chests, three chests or four chests. And that is because we have the boost in the territory I've shown you earlier, the um, boost for the refinery. You only find two of those buttons if you don't have a territory. And or if you have the territory that can do that, but the button is not activated because your alliance has to pay for it and only admirals commodores um, and uh, maybe premiers but that's why i always avoid premiers and uh, the alliance can do that and um, that's why i could do that because i'm the admiral of the cardassian union so that's why i could pay for everything there and show you but usually you would only see two buttons here except your alliance has the the territory and there you just um, Exchange your raw isogen, like I can do now. I haven't mined enough today yet, but it doesn't matter now. I just do it for, for once. You saw I get progenitor alloys because it was the two-star iso emulsion and uh, also refined two-star isogen or grade two isogen. And with those progenitor alloys, you can buy certain things, either progenitor emitters, progenitor diodes, progenitor cores, or progenitor reactors. And those are once again needed for your alliance and not for you yourself. Because when I showed you the territory buffs that need to be activated, for some of them, you need them. And um, 
that's for services in the two star and three star territories there. What you need depends on the territory. So it's different. So um, usually um, people ask uh, the leadership of our alliance, what do we what what are those do we need at the moment? Because you don't need all of them at all times. It really depends on your territory. And so our people asked uh, the Commodores or me which they should get at the moment. I could can get a lot at the moment because I'm saving some as well for the next season so that I, I always have a certain amount I can get uh, so we can use that new territory if we have to or if it's totally different than the last one. You never know with the next season. And so um, it doesn't matter if emitters, diodes, cores or reactors, they have no special special anything except that certain territories need different ones of those. So that's where it depends which ones to get. The more important thing is the exchange of iso emulsion into iso resin, because there you can get particles. Isoresin is sometimes needed for research as well, but more importantly from my point of view, in many cases are the particles, and that's phantom particles, quantum particles, surex particles, and metrion particles. If you don't have a territory that brings those particles, or a few of them, or one of them at least, this is the only source where you can get them. And you see, with the exchange, you get isoresin, you also need for research, but you also have a guaranteed amount of phantom particles, quantum particles, and surex particles. And every territory only provides one of them, even if you have a territory. So this is the source where you get them in general. And unfortunately for the metrion particles, you only have a chance. So most of the times when I click the button, and uh, I will do you the, you the favor and use a lot of my um, ISO emulsion now to, to show you the best. Most of the times when I click this, I don't get metrion particles. Let's see if uh, making this video for you blink brings me any luck. So I will just click the three chests and we'll see what happens. Nope, no luck here, but I need the other stuff as well anyway for, for my research. I'm, I'm working on certain ones where I need phantom particles at the moment. But that is your main source, especially when you don't have a territory. And it depends on the uh, tier of your meridian because you don't have everything um, you see here if you don't have the meridian. I um, have my meridian here so I can, can have a look um, which tiers are doing what. And uh, I often, often use that for, for just that case. And, uh, the ops level plays a role and your meridian plays a role. So um, it's a bit hard to get and you will have to watch a meridian video um, to know how to get it and how to upgrade it and stuff like that. That's different videos. But the meridian will play a very important role here. And so um, when you can get the Meridian via events, get it. it. It plays an important role for this refinery as well. For the moment, I hope I um, gave you an insight into this refinery because that's very important, um, not only for yourself, but for your alliance, especially with a territory season pass now. In between, you are really in danger of running out of the isogen you need to to use all the boosters in, in, in territory and to pay for a takeover in the first place if uh, the people in your alliance are not mining and refining isogen enough. And so that is something you really have to keep an eye on that you are constantly mining and refining isogen as much as you can so that your alliance is able to take part in the takeovers and able to take part in the territory season pass. So even if you don't have a territory, we um, have a lot of guests, so to speak, at our defenses. Um, they still have to pay for the takeover, even if they 
couldn't beat us and don't try to beat us, but they are there to get the points for the takeover event. And uh, but even they have to pay for joining the takeover. Like everybody has to. If you haven't uh, seen that, there's a video on territory takeovers as well in my playlists. And um, that's why all their people also regularly need to refine and mine isogen, even if it's not for, for the territory and paying in the territory. They need to pay for the takeover to get the rewards from the, the uh, territory season pass. And so everybody will always have to have enough isogen and so on. I have to mine a lot today as, uh, again um, because there's so much going on. I always have to keep an eye on it and uh, things get more and more expensive the higher you get as well. And so um, I, I am mining isogen at the moment as well. And uh, I have to f fill up stocks again because um, when I'm filming this tomorrow, um, from my point of view, we have incursions. So that will not be a time for mining isogen. So I have to stock up today. But if you have any questions or something to add as usual, or if you have video requests, please leave a comment. And even if you just want to say hi and where you're from, I'm curious, so I would like to know. And uh, if you want to see another video right now, YouTube has chosen another one for you right here in the end screen. I'll see you there. I'll be back.